What's up guys, Skittle Rampage here. So today we have some Funko News announcements, including new things like Pokemon, Attack on Titan, Marvel, and much more. So let's check it out. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope your day is going well. Today we do have a lot of new things to go over and some very exciting things that a lot of people have been waiting for. Now before we jump into all that, we do have our question of the day and that is name a Funko Pop in your collection that has some kind of food item with it. And I'm going to go with L with Cake from Death Note. Okay, so jumping into things, firstly, I want to show you all the new announcements. First up, for Attack on Titan fans, we do have a brand new Yelena exclusive. So take first looks at Yelena here, spotted on eBay. Again, this one is an exclusive. We don't know where to in the States just yet. Most likely Hot Topic, Box Lunch, or GameStop, I want to say. But it does look pretty good. It matches the character pretty well, in my opinion, at least. A lot of people do have their issues. They don't really like the hair detail, which I can understand. It does kind of look like noodles placed on, and it looks a little custom. I do think they could have done a better job molding the hair a little bit. But other than that, I think it pretty much looks like Yelena from Attack on Titan. Now, personally speaking, this is a character that I don't really care for too much at all. Like, I don't really like her that much, so it's like... It's a pop I might pick up for the Attack on Titan set, but at the same time, I would be just fine if I didn't own it. But it is something new, and it's a new character, so I'm happy for that. I just think they should maybe make more popular characters that we haven't gotten, like Reiner, for example, Connie, John. Like, where, where are those characters? They keep giving us all these random other characters. Well, not random. Obviously, Yelena is important to the story, not random. But at the same time, compared to, like, Reiner... It's like, why? <laughs> but again, at the same time, it is a brand new character and at least it's not a repeat mold of an older character, so I will take it. Now at the moment, we don't have any release details on this one just yet, but make sure to stay tuned if you're interested in it. Now the other Attack on Titan update that we have for this video is that Zeke Yeager does actually have a sticker variation we didn't know about. So sharing from John L over on Twitter, spotted over at Funko HQ, Zeke Yeager is actually showing up with the Funimation exclusive sticker, which is very interesting because this one was never announced to actually be a Funimation exclusive. It is possible though, that since some stock out there has Funimation exclusive stickers, it's possible that this was an old Funimation exclusive and then last minute they changed it into a Hot Topic exclusive, maybe. That's my best guess here. Other than that, it doesn't really make any sense. But at the moment, Funimation no longer exists, so it's not like they're getting any new exclusives. So obviously this happened a long time ago. Either way though, for sticker collectors, you do now have two variations to collect. I do have a feeling that Funimation sticker one's gonna be worth more. Moving on to more new announcements, we do have first looks at some new Pokemon on Funko Pops. It's kind of funny. I was just talking about these in a TikTok the other day saying that there wasn't really an ETA and then here they are. So go ahead and take first looks at Arcanine, Glaceon, and Scorebunny shared from eFantasyGR over on Instagram. These look really, really good. The only qualm I have with these is that Scorebunny looks very basic. I wish it was kind of like in a leaping or kind of like an action pose. You know, Glaceon usually just stands there elegantly, so that looks great. Arcanine looks great as well. Though I feel like out of all the Pokemon here that should have been a 10 inch, it should have been Glaceon. It should have been Arcanine because it's obviously a much bigger uh, Pokemon. So definitely an interesting choice there, but obviously Glaceon is going to sell better than Arcanine. So it makes sense from like a selling standpoint, I guess. Now the 10 inch Glaceon is in fact an exclusive. My best guess on that is that usually a lot of the 10 inch Pokemon have been going to Target. So that's gonna be my best guess here. If it goes somewhere else, I'll let you guys know once we find out. But it is cool that we're finally seeing first looks at these. I'm definitely excited about Arcanine and Glaceon. I think they look fantastic. Again, I wish Scorebunny had a little bit more oomph to it, I guess is the word I'm looking for. But other than that, they all look well designed. Now a big complaint I did see today was the fact that we still don't have Umbreon. Like I get it, it's a very popular Pokemon and it's the one that everybody wants out of all the evolutions. But at the same time, like we just got Glaceon. Let's enjoy Glaceon. This one looks amazing and I'm sure Umbreon's gonna look great as well. And Umbreon should be coming later this year. It's obviously the last one that they're gonna release. Just look at it as them building up the anticipation for a very long time now. Now at the moment, Funko has not officially announced these for pre-order just yet, so we still have some waiting to do. The only thing I can guess, and this is not confirmed, is the fact that these images are now out. That means they're final production images. 
and Entertainment Earth on their website has a common drop for tomorrow. So maybe we could see them announced tomorrow. So I guess just be looking out. But again, that is not confirmed. We could see them release later. Make sure to let me know down below in the comments out of all three of these Pokemon, which will you be picking up? My Hair Academia fans, it does look like we do have an All Might 3 liter soda coming soon. So this is first look shared from Ryan Griswold of the Proto All Might there. So basically just kind of All Might smiling in his standing signature pose. Nothing too crazy here. I am curious what the chase is going to be, whether it's glow in the dark or metallic. Those are my guesses. It is possible that this one is either going to be a Funko Shop exclusive or a Comic-Con exclusive in the future, so make sure to stay tuned. For anybody looking forward to the next Funko NFT drop, it is Hanna-Barbera, and we do have first looks at all of the exclusive redeemables. Now, this drop will be taking place on March 28th at 11 a.m. PT, and your five redeemables do include a Huckleberry Hound, Birdman, Mighty Miter, I think that's how you say that, Mr. Jinx, and a Freddy Funko holding Huckleberry Hound. And thank you Funko Finders for sharing the images. Personally, this is not something that I'm interested, but let me know if you guys will be going after these come March 28th. For any baseball fans, we do have our next Baseball Funko Pop giveaway at a baseball game. So for the first 20,000 fans attending this game on March 27th, they will get a free JP Crawford Funko Pop. I think it's cool that Funko does this every now and again where they give away a free Funko Pop that obviously costs them a lot of money to produce. So so if you guys are in the area and you want to go to the game and get a free Funko Pop, go for it. For One Piece fans, we do have a little bit of news. It does look like Snake Man Luffy could possibly drop on the Funko Shop tomorrow. So make sure to be looking out on the shop tomorrow if you're after this one. I don't think this one will be too hard to get, but I figured it was worth mentioning. And the other One Piece news we do have is that Goldie Roger is now shipping out from the Funko Shop. As of last night, I did get my shipping email and a bunch of other people have. So make sure to check your emails. Now, speaking of Funko Shop exclusives, recently we had the Venom Mystery box go live basically where they threw in a very popular venom funko pop everybody wanted in a little mystery box with two other pops for 30 bucks now in that box it did state these details expand your marvel collection with funko web exclusive marvel mystery box this bundle features three exclusive items including pop venom and two additional mystery pop marvel exclusives so very, very important keywords there that this box should be entirely Marvel exclusives and Marvel related. So that means if anything else in your box is not Marvel, then you can technically either get a refund or a partial refund because we ran into a lot of issues the last time they did a mystery box because I think it wasn't exactly as advertised. So make sure to be paying attention. If your boxes are not Marvel, then you can possibly get a refund. Now this one did actually sell out yesterday because only about 5,000 boxes went up, but a little bit later into the night, early in the morning, it did restock again, but sold out again. So I went ahead and bought two of these boxes just for fun. I spent about $64 after tax and everything. So I'm curious to see what I end up getting. And I'm honestly curious to see if everybody gets the same thing in every box, or if I can order two boxes and get different items. Now there are a few new things available on the Funko shop right now. They've been actively adding other retailer exclusives like these three, for example. We do have the Spider-Man from the Sinister Six set from Amazon, Sasuke Susano from Hot Topic and the Glow in the Dark Goku Rose from Entertainment Earth. And they have a bunch more exclusives available now if you guys want to check their website and maybe pick up something you might need. I still think it's personally silly that they give other retailers exclusives and then just take the stock and sell it on their website anyways, but it is what it is. It's available on Funko if you need it. Now the last thing I want to show you guys in this video are some in-person looks at some new Funko Pops coming soon. So sharing from Bully Boy Collectibles, we do have first looks at some new Star Wars Pops. We have Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, and Wicked, as well as Jabba the Hutt and Salacious B. Crumb from the Star Wars 40th Anniversary set. I will say the Jabba the Hutt moment looks really nice to be honest. I do believe this is just a revamped one from the original though. And the last set of images is Disney and we do have the Disney 100 set including Moana on her boat and Tiana and Naveen and they did actually correct his skin tone for those. Alright guys so that's everything for today's Funko News video. A little bit of light news today but I wanted to get those updates out to you so make sure to leave a like down below if you did enjoy and if you guys have any other questions drop a comment down below. Now I do want to end off the video by saying a big shout out to all the wonderful Patreon supporters of the channel. You guys absolutely rock for this supporting myself and the channel. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a Patreon-only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. We also have a Facebook group with over 16,000 members that's buy, sell, and trade. And make sure to be following me on all my social medias at Skittle Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page so you can stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.